Hey guys, I'm Sam here. This is the SQS lab session. As I told you on the theory session of SQS, in exam, you just need the basic concepts. It's not necessary that uh, you have to cover or you have to do this SQS lab session. That being said, you can use this to have a basic idea how SQS can be you know, utilized. Log into your AWS console and then once you are in search for SQS, you can see simple queue service navigate to sqs management console click on get started let's start by creating a queue a simple queue and the first field is our queue name let's say orders we have bunch of options here default visibility timeout so this is something i wanted to talk about uh, default visibility timeout the length of time in seconds that a message received from a queue will be in invisible to other receiving components you can define it over here and the reason is simple say for example you have a message queue and you might have several components one component might be sending a message and it acts as a sender another component which is a consumer waiting for it to be available on the queue it will be polling the queue as well and let's say for some reason the component it has gone down and you have a new component so you can define the length of time that message received from a queue will be invisible which is nothing but default visibility timeout and till that time this message which just arrived in the message queue it will stay invisible and after that period it's going to be available and the new component which is looking for uh, this specific message it can consume it you have message retention period as i told you four is the default uh, uh, four days is the default time period maximum is 14 days minimum is one minute maximum message size it can be anything between one to 256 kb delivery delay you have options like uh, receive message wait time on the next section we have options related to dead letter queue settings dead letter queue those of you who are not uh, familiar with this let me explain there might be you know some sort of messages hung or stuck messages that uh, were not processed by the consumer and you get to you as a developer you get to choose what to do with those you can uh, create a policy you can set up dead letter a queue dedicated uh, just to handle uh, dead letter uh, messages and so on for the purpose of this demo i'm not gonna do any of it i'm i'm gonna leave all these as default let's click on create a queue name of the queue is orders you have the details over here information is available details related to permission you can add or uh, define your own uh, policy document Redrive policy monitoring options are available here. Select your queue. Under queue actions, you get to have you get to see a bunch of options such as send a message, view or delete message, configure queue, add a permission, purge queue, delete queue, subscribe queue to SNS topic. For starters, let's click on send a message. This is where you enter your message. So let's say USB type C cable quantity one and the price is thousand rupees and we have another tab which is the message attributes this is the place wherein you will have to define the metadata of your message it's optional let's say order type type is string value let's say online once you're done click on add attribute let's go back to the message body here you get to enable the delayed delivery option as well once you enable it delay delivery of this message by you can define uh, the number of seconds maximum is 15 minutes i'm not gonna do it let's click on send message here we can see that uh, it says message has been sent and it is ready to be received it might take up to you know 60 seconds for the messages 
available column to update you have the information such as message identifier and then md5 of body let's close this and the dashboard it says messages are available the count is one now that we we are able to send a message let's see how to consume it or read it and then delete it make sure that you are selecting the queue name and then go to queue actions click on view or delete messages an important thing to remember here is you don't request for a specific message you set a limit uh, you up to maximum of you know 10 messages and then the poll queue for 30 seconds let's go ahead and click on start polling for messages here is our message now that you are able to see the message let's click on uh, delete and that's it let's do a quick cleanup of the queue which we have created select the queue and then click on delete queue you can click on yes the queue we have created a while back we just deleted it thanks for watching guys it has been a very basic session make sure that uh, you are covering the reference links cover the faqs as well we will see in the next video.